Hello everyone, welcome to Collective Guidance Tarot. This is a general love reading for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. In this reading, I'm going to look at the messages that um, your person has for you. Okay. Um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Reverse and the Two of Cups in the Reverse. The Page of Cups in the Reverse. Okay. Um, so... Sagittarius, this person wants to tell you that um, they're experiencing um, a lot of, they're experiencing loss when it comes to their pentacles. So they went from having it all to now having nothing. As you can see, the, um, the ten of pentacles is in their face. So this person wants to tell you that um, they're facing financial issues. You know, um, the financial side of their life is not going well. With the two of cups, this person wants to tell you that um, maybe they were in a partnership that was money-based, as you can see with, um, you know, the ten of uh, pentacles. You know, you can see the, you know, the two people and it's like there's one individual not part of the conversation. So what I'm getting is that um, this person left you for someone else. As you can see with the two of cups in the reverse, this person wants to tell you that um, whatever investment they made didn't work out. You know, whatever individual, whatever partnership they started didn't work out. Um, they were hoping that, you know, something was going to, you know, something positive was going to come out of this relationship. But whatever investments they made with the individual that they left you for, it didn't work out. And um, I see this other individual, this that individual who's looking at these two people as you, you know, you sort of watch this individual walk away from you. And I'm also getting the feeling that when they walked away from you, they took everything with them and they left you with nothing. So now the energy that they left you in, this person wants to tell you that they're going through all the things that, you know, they did to you. I'm also getting the, the feeling that this person, um, wants to tell you that you know they feel rejected when it comes to love i don't know if they feel rejected because you rejected them or they feel rejected because whoever it is that they had a partnership with rejected them um the page of cups in the reverse this is an immature energy when it comes to love you know this is a non-committal individual so this person wants to tell you that um, they're trying to let go. The message they have for you is that they're trying to let go of um, this energy of the page of cups. You know, because um, currently they're going through something. You know, they're going through something regarding their finances. So I'm getting the feeling that this person will contact you and tell you that you know, they, they'll tell you everything about what's currently going on in um, the temperance in the reverse. So this person wants to tell you that they currently don't have balance. You know, they currently feel out of touch with everything. They don't have um, balance. This person wants to tell you that um, they're looking for an opportunity. You know, they're looking for an opportunity, a passionate opportunity when it comes to love. Maybe this person sees you as a good opportunity when it comes to love. And it, they see you as a passionate opportunity when it comes to love. Because this is a love reading. So I'm getting the feeling that this person wants to retain 
and offer you a passionate one because they currently feel unbalanced. Um, this person had they want to tell you that um, they're nostalgic about you know the relationship they look back a lot they miss you you know they still think about coming back you know they reminisce on the past and what you guys had um this person wants to tell you that they want to let go of their player ways because we all know what the page of ones means it's the card of the player so with the page of ones in the reverse and the page of um, cups in the reverse so this tells me that this person wants to tell you that they're trying to let go of their emotional um emotional immature ways and they're trying to let go of their player ways so some of you dealt with an aquarius taurus um capricorn um, the king of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, like I said in the beginning that this person is currently facing a loss when it comes to, you know, their finances. So they see you as an opportunity. They want you to know that they see you as a, an opportunity for a new beginning. They look back on the past. You know, this is a card of looking back. This is a card of missing someone from the past. Um, the chariot this person wants to tell you that they want to charge forward they want to um, return into your life and bring this um, you know passionate one this bring this offer offer you something you know because they see you as an opportunity so this person wants to tell you that they're trying to charge forward they're trying to get in touch with you because they look back at the past a lot this person wants to tell you that they're currently going through a, um, you know, a, a thing. They're currently going through a painful phase. You know, they, their life is filled with conflict. As you can see, you dropped the sword and you decided to walk away. This person is telling me that um, when they return, there's going to be some passive, aggr passive aggressiveness on their side. So the approach, they're going to use a very passive-aggressive approach. So I don't know if this individual was passive-aggressive when they dealt with you. A lot of silent treatment. But yeah, this person is telling me that um, although they're trying to let go of the page of one's energy and page of cups energy, this person is still passive-aggressive. This person still wants conflict. The hanged man, um, this person wants me to tell you that um, they're getting a perspective shift. You know, they're getting a, a, a perspective shift. But as you can see, the card is in the, um, it's in the reverse. The, the hanged man is in the reverse. So I don't think they're really implementing the things that um, their higher self is telling them to do exactly. Justice and um, the Five of Wands. So this person is still defensive. This person still wants conflict. The justice in this is that this person's malicious way, malicious ways in the past are catching up on them. They received the judgment for the things that they did for you. When they rejected you, someone else rejected them. And in that process, they lost everything. Whoever it is that they made investments with, this person rejected them. Um, some of you in the future, I feel like you're going to deal with um, a Libra. You're going to meet a Libra in the, uh, in the future, in the near future. And whoever this person is, this person is going to bring a lot of peace into your life. And immediately when you meet them, you know that you're going to feel that sense of relief. You're going to feel that sense of justice for all the things that, you know, you've gone through when it comes to relationships. So this person is going to be a sigh of relief. Like immediately when you meet them, you know, this person is going to represent the balance that you're looking for. So that's how you will know in the near future that this is the person that you meant to be with. This other person is going to come back because 
they were supposed to learn something because the hanged man in the upright is um is a card of you know getting a new perspective educating yourself looking um looking at a situation from a bed's uh bed's eye view so looking at um the situation from different um angles looking at the situation you know from different perspectives looking at the other person's perspective and also trying to understand where the other person is coming from so in the reverse it tells me that this person hasn't really done any reflection this person hasn't learned from their lesson because as you can see this person you know it's like you can see she's like he's he has a smacky look on his face it's like they recognize that you walked away but they still have the sword you know, they still have their swords. They are not willing to let go of the conflict, the passive aggressiveness, as you can see with the defensiveness. This person is still defending their stupid nature. They recognize that a change has to happen. And they're not, you know, um, picking up on the things that they have to do to change their behavior. This is the person that doesn't really reflect this is a person that doesn't have self-awareness this is an individual that instead of taking time aside getting a different perspective educating themselves gaining some self-awareness this is the person that instead they do destructive things you know to sort of get themselves through um painful emotional things things like smoking things like drinking alcohol you know being with different women so that's why this person has found themselves in this um 10 of um uh, 10 of pentacles in their reverse so this person wants to tell you that basically they haven't learned anything nothing has changed um they want to come back they see you as an opportunity but um there's still a lot of things that this person has to work on Spirit, give me more cards about um, what this person wants to tell my Sagittarius. Okay, this person wants to tell you that um, they were sneaky, they were manipulative, and they were deceptive. They are or they were, so you'll choose. But um, based on the cards, the cards are telling me that this person hasn't really changed. This person was deceptive in the past. You know, this person was a very de uh, deceptive individual, manipulative, trying to get the upper hand, using other people for their own gain. So this person is telling me that um, they haven't really changed. They haven't really put in the effort into self-awareness, you know, learning, um, you know, about the things that they have to change, learning about their toxic behaviors. This person still has the same mindset of taking advantage of people. With the Page of Swords, I'm getting the feeling that this person wants to tell you that, um, you know, they want to, when it comes to communicate uh, communication, they want to tell you that they have a very immature way of communicating and they want to let go of that. This person is very conflicted. Like, this is a very conflicted individual. I think when they come back, they're going to say all the nice things that you want to hear. But what's hidden is this energy. So, Spirit, can you please tell me what's hidden? This person is saying all these things to my Sagittarius. Can you please reveal what's hidden? The Knight of Swords. So this is an in and out energy and night is an in and out energy. So in the reverse, this card tells me that um, this person, basically they are going to return to your life, but it's because they're facing financial issues. In the past, this individual was in and out. They didn't know where they stood. So this person is going to come back because currently they're facing financial loss but there's some deception behind it. They're not doing it because they genuinely care. They're doing it because they're, you know, they're experiencing a very dark place when it comes to, you know, pentacles and, you know, their finances. So they'll come. They won't be in and out. But it's because of, you know, what they're currently going through. So they, 
this person is looking for someone to nurse them, you know, someone to sort of take care of them so that they can recover. After they recover, this is the energy that they're going to give you. You know, they're going to uphold this um, real, uh, thingy energy until they recover. Once they recover, this card will be in the upright. They'll go away because as you can see, there's deception here. The Queen of Swords, this is your card. So I'm getting the feeling that deep down, this individual is scared to return because there's a feeling. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius Gemini Libra. Some of you, um, this person is afraid to reach out because they know that you're going to cut them off. They know that, um, you know, they've, they've bent the bridges with you. Because I got the same message in the previous reading that I did for you. Uh, Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Swords. So this person, they want to reach out, but deep down, there's fear. Um, so you want a commitment. You know, you want an engagement, but I don't think it's from this individual. So the Queen, you're going to cut them off because you want the celebration. You want a committed individual. You want someone who's going to take you seriously. Exactly the star. You know, some of you recognize that, you know, if you take steps to, you know, if you take steps towards moving on, you can manifest amazing things. You can manifest the star energy. And I'm pulling this card for you guys for the second time. Because even with the reading that I did for you last night, this I pulled out the star. So this person is returning. They want to tell you that they can see that you are the star now. You're shining. Yes, the fool. I also pulled out this card for you yes, um, last night. So you guys are moving on. You guys are doing amazing for yourself. You recognize that if you want this commitment... You know, if you want celebration, then you have to be the star of your own life. And whoever it is that you date next has to represent the star energy. You know, you're on this adventure to new beginnings, finding new things, bringing in new energy. Because currently you're vibrating on a higher frequency. And this individual is vibrating on a lower frequency. So your frequencies are not matching up. And you are the star and this person is just... In this negative energy so you have to be really careful with this person um please ignore my nose <laughs> um sagittarius thank you for watching i genuinely appreciate the support i hope you guys are doing fantastic and i wish you all the best bye